Okay. Oh my god. Game, you gotta stop doing this to me. <gasps> Ash has aged up. But look at the little machigis. They got machigis. It's so cute. Hey, my little peaches, and welcome back to another episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, now I talked about this real briefly on Twitch, but I wanted to show you guys something very, very quickly because I was like, okay, do you remember the whole Emily pregnancy story from the last episode that kind of came out of nowhere? Yeah, that. If. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Game, you've got to stop doing this to me. You have got to stop doing this. Like, seriously, what have you found here? What pure rat have you found here, Emily? Okay, I wanted to show you guys something real quick. Emily's literally at our house right now. This is, again, I'm there trying to tell a story. The game is like this with its spanner. Straight in the works. <sighs> Okay, let me show you guys. I checked at the end of last episode just to see whether Emily, the person that she had the baby with, who is... Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> the person that she had her baby with, Lindsay, this guy here, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Delgato, who is one of many. I was gonna check, do they actually have any romance together? Because if they did, I was gonna CC him up and get married. Whilst I did that, I noticed that she had a bunch of romance with this Moises Seats, who I'm like, I saw this whole thing. <sighs> And I was like, I think this guy's an alien. I remembered that Emily has access to where the wormhole is because of course we brought her there. So she has access to our forgotten grotto. Technically has access to the wormhole. And um, technically, I guess any of the uh, any of the alien also has access to that wormhole. So I knew these guys had romance together. However, I'm like, okay, same situation. It's an alien. I don't love that you've snuck off with an alien in my wormhole, in my secret grotto with my secret species of people, but you know, that was meant to be my thing. That was meant to be a saffron specific thing, but I love you, Emily. So, you know, you do you, babes. It's fine. However, in the meantime, <laughs> instead of just having a romance, a fleet in very intense 100% romance with him, what my girl has decided to do... Okay, you're just not going to show me the sim profile. Is that how we're playing it now? Are you actually now just straight up ignoring me? Okay, yeah, she's definitely ignoring me. But whatever, because what seems to have happened in the meantime is she's married the guy. She is just straight up married an alien. If you thought we were wild for, like, romancing and having a baby with alien, Emily took it one step further. She just straight up went and married one. Okay, Emily, I hate to break up a happy marriage, but you can't... You can't... No. You can't. Aliens, he's literally on six Sam right now, which is exactly where he should stay. He is an alien. I don't want to have aliens running amok in my world, so I'm moving him out of your household. Yeah, be gone. Actually, be gone right now, because we're not doing this. This is not happening. Do you want to see him real quick? I'll show you him, just so we can see what Emily's tastes look like. <laughs> I thought it would be a big enough deal me showing you that she had this much romance with an alien at the beginning of the episode. I can't believe she decided to take it one step further. So this is his alien form. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, literally, yeah, a whole thing. And then this is his human form. Actually looks really similar to the guy that you had the baby with. Emily, babes, no, don't, don't. This is not a thing. It's not happening. I'm breaking this up right now. It's for your own good. Let's put this in the past. Let's just put this in the past. He ain't no Vaven Amos. Let's just put it that way. And I'm also just gonna bring her back home because her baby is here. Just floating. Just having itself a little float in the kitchen. We don't play you. This is not our family. I just went to fix things. I am the fixer-upper of human life. Please don't get up to any trickery again. Just, oh my gosh, your surname is now... <laughs> Well, whatever. You've married an alien now. You've made your bed. Now lie in it. We've got our own nightmares going on. We've got a bright blue baby, which you guys are saying is a hybrid. It's not a full alien. It's like a hybrid, which is apparently going to be easier and potentially not going to be bright blue. But I guess we'll find out in this episode when we age them up to a toddler. So if you guys are enjoying the crazy drama of this series, please go ahead and give this video a big cheeky thumbs up. Also, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. We still need to finish off Saffron. A bunch of stuff for Saffron. Saffron still 
it needs to hit level 10 of the astronaut career in order for me to keep progressing with this challenge. So I'm going to be trying very hard on that today. And obviously we're going to be aging up little Ash, our bright blue alien hybrid child into a toddler. So we're just going to cross our fingers that what we get is... We may have to play God if it is this the biggest bug-eyed alien you ever saw. But for now, we're just gonna keep working real hard. We are absolutely shattered and we've still got five hours left of work. Also, uh, when you get home, you've got to look after a baby. So good luck with that. <gasps> and oh my gosh, this girl is honestly just you. You are a gift from the gods. First you gave me a rocket. Now you want to come around and help out with the birth of my new baby. How are you this amazing? Who gave you the... Okay, bye. <laughs> it was nice while it lasted. And boom. Oh! Yes, we are back home. Okay, Space Ranger or Interstellar Smuggler. We have just been promoted, which is absolutely amazing because now we are on level eight of the astronaut career. Can you, can you, can you, can you, what? Eight of the astronaut career, two levels to go. Although we did have a friend that was an Interstellar Smuggler, I honestly feel like she w doesn't want to take advantage of the ungoverned frontier. She cares about space and the people in it. Space is wild and unruly, a bit too unruly. Taking a post in the Planet Patrol ensures that space remains safe for future generations. Yeah, I feel like she will definitely do that. Rewards include the Apollo rocket ship. Rewards include the retro rocket ship. Let's go down this route. I feel like it fits her much more. So we have been promoted to Planet Patrol. She's incredibly happy about that, but she also looks like hell, bless her, let's face it. And we have, oh yeah, there it is. The bawling blue, bright blue baby, who is gonna be our, oh geez, the noise, the noise. The next generation, ooh, space energy drink recipe we got from our promotion and a build your own rocket ship. We don't need that because we actually saved that ourselves. Oh, it's parent level one. It's the first time she's ever even parented this whole child. This is how Babalaroo looks at the moment. Does it have pointy ears? Not right now. Right now it's just blue, but obviously this baby is going to have goldy eyes because we always take the eyes from the previous generation, which is of course yellow, and we'll have gray hair as well. I love gray hair. I had gray hair for a while, so I'm actually really excited about that bit. And right now we've gone for a very space-themed room, but of course we know that gray generation does does not feel similar to the rest of the family. They are sporty and vibey and they don't love this whole space thing. They hate the fact that they're an alien hybrid. They hate the fact that they are different from everybody else. So this room is slowly gonna start taking on the theme from the next generation. Obviously Saffron does not know you this yet. She is trying to make future alien baby feel very much at home. She's growing these space plants here. I think this tree also is growing a bunch of space stuff. She also wants to make the Forgotten Grotto hard of this space energy about it. So um, she's probably gonna be low-key a little bit disappointed that her alien baby does not really feel very alien-like. You are, however, literally just about to pass out from energy exhaustion. So hopefully, uh, I mean, an alien baby is more work. They're certainly more colorful. And those eyes are just very interesting. Oh, geez, <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out. I don't know when Ash is gonna age up but we shall see. And the nanny service that I guess we send Ash to. I feel like it's gotta be Emily because we can't send this baby to daycare. It is just absolutely way too big. And of course, Emily definitely knows about aliens now, seeing as how she is desperately in love with one. And life has changed for Safra now. Less, oh, they are here. Because our neighborhood is green, we get these lights. I mean, I like to think of this less as the northern lights. I like to think of it more that our hubby, he's not a husband, but you know. Baby daddy Vian Amos is actually using this as like alien technique to send love. Love and just something beautiful for Saffron. Whenever he's thinking about her, this is what this guy does. I know I'm soft and a hopeless romantic, but I don't care. There he is, good old Vian Amos, who's desperate to come and hang out on Earth, but I am gonna stick to my guns and make it so that we may lose touch with our beautiful alien there. And the baby's awake again. Great. Hopefully, toddler. Toddler coming along soon. Plus, plus, plus. And we need to reach level eight on the fitness. The good... Ooh, and daily task is a space mission. How do I do that? Oh my gosh, this baby's crying. Like, this baby's literally crying so much. I have this space mission. I guess I have to go in my rocket ship every single day and maybe do like a space mission. When I'm hovering over it, it's not telling me anything, which is not very helpful, but whatever. And oh, it's almost Ash's birthday. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, but babies in this game, not very fun. Honestly, though, toddlers, not much better, not gonna lie. And here we are doing our little juggalogs to try and reach level eight of the fitness career. Although we are a multitasking queen because we're jogging and eating. Trying to save a bit of time. And okay, this is... <laughs> I kind of thought this would happen. So baby's in here crying with a dirty diaper. But Saffron's out here on the telescope. Also not paid her bills yet. Oh, we've got no power. Great. Okay, heading to work. Brilliant. I feel like she's very sciencey vibes and less motherhood vibes. Not that you can't have both. I just feel like she in particular doesn't. I mean, look at her traits. Sorry, her lifestyles. Workaholic, outdoorsy, single and loving it. None of those scream work mother to me. They don't scream, I will be by my baby's side the whole time. Like, honestly, she's looking up in the stars trying to spot her alien boy. But it doesn't mean she's not going to be a good mother. I just don't feel like this path was necessarily the path she would have chosen. She's a space queen, you know? She is a space queen. And oh, jeez, this child, this whole child. What do you want, Brittany? A vast fortune under what conditions boom another two and a half k i like that random call now i know what to do i really like that random call and as predicted our needs and life in general have been a complete wreck <gasps> are you coming to see me you know how much i miss you i want to see your beautiful face my face right now is a tired wreck I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm really struggling with the baby. My needs are tragic and it's 9 p.m. But look how bright it still is. Like, you can't come here. Folks will see you. This is really hard. And look at this. All of our science experiments just cast aside. Our little flowers not had as much love as they should have done either. And a rocket ship. There's no time for any fun. Oh my gosh, and it's awake again. Ooh! Why'd you take so much from me? It's Ash's birthday. Time just flies doesn't it? No. No, it does not. It goes really slowly and painfully when there's a baby involved. I don't even get to vibe with Laika as much as I want to. You know what? Oh, no. Laika, we're gonna play. Oh, well, no, no, apparently we're- No, no, Laika, my bad, my bad. Apparently we're not. Apparently we're not. Apparently it's uh, back to baby time again. The baby time again. No, I'm not allowed to eat because the baby's crying. Alien babies are hard. Is this like a legit thing? Do they eat and poop more than human babies? I feel like it, they definitely do. Like I 100% feel like they do. Ooh, we need to think about a pet for Ash, by the way. Every generation gets a pet. And I definitely low-key feel like she literally counts down the hours to work. Because she loves her job. She loves being in space. She loves being an astronaut. She does not love looking after a screaming blue child. I feel like the fact that it's an alien for her is like, this is so freaking cool. But it's still a baby, you know. <laughs> Even if it's blue, it's still a baby. <gasps> High crimes at Space Y. Saffron is shot to discover corruption. Brazenly flaunted at the upper echelons of Space Y. A ranking ranger from the six and quadrant as the goal to wink at her today. While planting contraband in the cab of a long-haul space trucker. It isn't Saffron's job to investigate fellow space rangers, but the making high-profile arrest of another ranger could be the catalyst that leads to restoration. Oh my gosh, no! Oh, like, she cares so much about the science here, she would hate the fact that there's corruption, and it would, like, sully her job. But if I make an arrest, she has to resign and I don't get to level 10. So I have to look the other way. Oh man, I feel like she really won't like that. Hey, beautiful, do you want to come to date today? No, this is killing me! but I can't. I will try and take maybe little toddler into space. <gasps> Lindsay's aged up into a toddler. Okay, there's Lindsay. I will try and take at some point blue baby into space. Ash, I need to just call, call the child Ash and not just blue alien hybrid. <laughs> like it's a specimen. But I will try and take Ash into space when it's a toddler. Obviously, I can't do much with it right now though. And actually, we've got so much money. I can finally give you a nice kitchen and a nice fridge with nice food in it. So I'm giving her a few little upgrades to the house. I feel like after all this time, she's honestly earned them. And I'm gonna get a big old yellow tree just to like, you know, it's a saffron tree. And the other thing I decided just to invest a little bit of money in is obviously saffron spent a bunch of her like childhood, well, teenhood in Japan. Well, Mount Komorebi. She always speaks the language. The culture is very much part of her own. So I figured I would do like, you know, the little chess area where she plays around the back here with Emily a lot, or she did when they had more time in their lives. I figured I would um, just give that a little bit of an upgrade too. Just because like this baby's obviously got its alien culture, but it's also got its human culture as well. Although one of them seems much more prevalent right now. The one that seems to want to eat all the freaking time. And I like that slowly this lot is getting bigger. 
bigger, building up over time. This is why I like starting with nothing and building up. It's way more fun. She's like, I need a drink in a bar. Literally two days with a child and she's craving alcohol. Oh my gosh, in the minute, the minute my head touches the pillow. The second my head touches the pillow. Even Laika's in a mood with her nowadays. Laika who is blue. Oh, okay, yeah, we definitely need to bring you to the vets, don't we? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's, oh, it's really blue. <laughs> Ash has aged up. Okay, so we know that this child is gonna have a very different vibe. I really want to go for wild, but I get a bug with this. So I think I'm gonna go for independent because it's very different to the rest of its family. I think a lot of my toddlers have had independent so far. Okay, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready for this whole child? <laughs> We got some work to do, that's all I'm saying. We got a lot of work to do. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about this blue situation. So here is how Babalaroo looks in Cuss. I realized the ears weren't showing because I needed a mod that allowed me to give them like alien ears, even if they're not an alien. So I've gone ahead and installed that. As you can imagine, Ash, if she wants to hide her appearance, is gonna have to keep long hair so that these ears do not get out in the wild. The other thing I am gonna do is just go ahead and check out Saffron Skin tone real quick. It's not on there. Great. Love that. Love that. Probably quite similar to this one though. She's using a custom one because I obviously do not want a blue child. So we're going to go ahead and give this child skin similar to uh, her mother's. Eyes are going to be this color because that's Saffron's color. And then I do still want to keep a few alien-esque features. So look away right now. It's really hard to tell a toddler. So I am... I'm gonna have to unfortunately ruin things myself a little bit, although they won't be CC'd up. But the things I'm thinking is slightly alien-esque eyes and just a few alien vibes features. Give me a sec. You guys don't get to see this now. Yeah, I'm actually really glad I did that. Otherwise, we would have been looking at basically a carbon copy <laughs> of Saffron. So uh, you guys won't get to see that yet. It's still incredibly Saffron looking, but we've got the ears. I've just tweaked a few little things just to make sure that it's not a twin. Because from what I can tell, it it doesn't seem to have taken any DNA from the father, really. Maybe a little bit nose forehead vibes, but yeah, it's very Saffron, who is of course very Kiyoshi. So I kind of like this idea that if you have like this alien hybrid kid, that one of the side effects is like no pigment in the hair, which is why we end up with gray. I know technically you done it with white, but work with me here. It's gray, Jen. And I was trying to like work out, should I put like little subtle like alien vibes on her, but like, I don't know. I feel like it might be a bit much. Yeah, maybe a bit much. Oh, those eyelids are kind of weird, but do give her eyes a bit of a interesting shape. These little like accents is kind of what I think we're gonna have to do for this generation. Oh my gosh, I could do pupil overlays as well. Like I just want to do so certain things that are like non-human about it, but not so much that we end up with like a really alien-fied baby. But like, if you look a little bit closer, you're like, huh. Something it right here. So like maybe like an extra spiral around the eyes, which just reminds me of Riku from Final Fantasy, but whatever. Why do I keep making Final Fantasy references? I don't know, I'm out on myself. Ignore the fact that the eyes have changed as well, but also I was thinking, cause this baby was literally blue like 10 minutes ago. Maybe I should give it like a little bit of like a blue tinge. I like the idea that it was blue, but you know like how baby cycles change as they get older. Maybe the skin color, the, the intense, blue has faded as it's got older. I almost was wondering whether to do blue eyes that fade to yellow over time as well. What do you guys reckon? Blue that fades to yellow could be a vibe. Blue eyes, the blue's fading yellow eyes. And the blue will fade from its skin as well. Like, I feel like there has to be some consequence for being an alien, you know? So why don't we do that? Don't worry, it will end up yellow. I know that this generation has to have yellow eyes. And then is space buns a bit on the nose? <laughs> Look, it's an alien with space buns! Because <laughs> I know we will be hiding the ears, but at least initially, I want you guys to be able to see them. And then over time, she gets conscious of them and hides them. Okay, I decided on this hair in the end, and I've also brought her ears forward a bit just so you can see them over the edges. I just really like that hair. I think it's just really well-made hair. So I do probably overuse it, but I mean, look at it. So I've dressed her just in a little gray, like smock dress. I've put a little blue bow in her hair just as a bit of a homage to her dad. And I've kept that gray theme running on all of her little outfits. 
Some of them have uh, some little saffron vibes in there. This one, I just think looks so cute because her feet look so freaking huge. But this is Ashberry. Her eyes are gonna change to yellow. She is gonna lose the last little bit of that blue pigmentation she's got as well, which I'm gonna go even stronger on since, you know, we are gonna lose it. And let me know what you guys think of her in the comments below. And of course, the other thing we have to do is update her room into a little toddler room. Now, at this point, Saffron will obviously still be the one designing, thinking, oh, oh my gosh, alien baby. However, we know that this stuff's gonna change over time. We know that Ash is gonna reject this whole idea of wanting to be an alien and instead is just gonna really want to be like human. She's gonna wanna feel like a human. And oh my gosh, I've actually run out of money. But we have these slightly updated rooms, still uh, super spacey, still very, very spacey. We have aliens, the stuff that she got as a kid, her bed, some clouds. I've just tried to like, oh my gosh. It's kind of trudged because I've run out of money, but it's meant to look like, you know, stuff. Oh, I should give her the alien thing. There we go. It's meant to look like stuff runs like trying to make this room like alien kid friendly. But of course we know that's not really what Grey wants. And here is how she looks in game. I think like Lexi, Lexi stop barking at the alien baby. I think she definitely like, I've tried not to go too extreme on her and the blue will fade over time. The ears will slowly start to go a little bit more close to her head. And her eyes are also obviously gonna fade to the more yellowy color. But I feel like it's uh, it's a good start. It is a good start. Oh my gosh, I still haven't taken the cut to the vets. So now that I can actually travel, there is one thing I wanna do real quickly, especially while the wormhole is still open. And that is travel through the wormhole with little Ash. Ash won't need a spacesuit, by the way. Obviously, Saffron needs one and the whole helmet for the air and stuff. But Ash doesn't need one because she's a hybrid, so she can actually breathe on a Sixum because I really want Vian Amos. I still don't know if I'm saying that right, but I guess there's no right way to say it. It's literally an alien word, but I do want him to meet his child, at least while the wormhole is still open. Look at these sassy aliens walking by. We can barely walk but there she is like, looking very natural here breathing in the air but her little ears giving her away because uh of course dad's ears are even more extreme because la, 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 i want him to like meet his little daughter and have like whilst he can have some kind of relationship with her but look at the little matching ears they got matching ears it's so cute i know it's very alieny oh he's showing her the space butterflies oh of course She's like looking at them. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. She, he's glowing purple with happiness. She's not going to get all this time with her dad. Maybe the wormhole will reopen someday. I do not know. So the time they spend together now is going to be pretty important. And yeah, this little unorthodox family, unfortunately, is not going to spend a bunch of time being a family together. Grey is meant to feel distant from both of their parents and be quite different to both of them. Obviously distant from alien boy because we're not on Sixum. So the time they do have together now is obviously very cute and also very, very important. So we have our toddler version of Ash now. She is absolutely adorable. She is alien-esque without being like too on the nose, but enough that we're probably gonna have to keep her sort of low key. She has an exciting future ahead of her. Unfortunately, it doesn't involve being close to either of her parents and we will be changing eye color to yellow. I feel like I have to keep reiterating this in case you guys think that I'm not gonna do that or that I've forgotten. I haven't, there's rhyme and reason for all of it. So, oh my gosh, stop being so cute. It's too much for me, for me to handle knowing that like, you guys aren't gonna get to spend all of your years together being like just as cute as this. But there we go. Let me know what you think of her appearance. In the next episode, we will keep trying for Saffron's promotion. We need to work on the fitness skill. In fact, you should be doing something right now. Go jog it around Sixum. Off you go. And I think we should also go ahead and check out Emily and Emily's baby as well because I'd like these little toddlers to become friends with each other. And we'll see what kind of appearance Emily's toddler has as well. So get ready for cute toddler moments in the next episode and i will see you guys there thank you so much for watching bye